Hey folks, Michael Daniels here. I've had a couple people ask me, hey, that you have a, such a cool backdrop and a green screen, all that kind of stuff. How do you do it? You know, are they expensive? That kind of thing. I'm going to walk you through some of that right now and talk about the lighting as well. Check this out. Okay, so some of you have asked, how do you do your green screen? What do you do? Um, this is mine. I just, my wife works at Hobby Lobby, so I bought some cloth. You can kind of see we just sewed it together. The nice thing is, is you don't see that line whenever the show's going on or whenever I have the green screen in use. And I built these little wood stands. Seriously, maybe $10 worth of wood. You can get some scrap uh, wood from uh, construction site or something like that that's where I get some of my wood like that built some poles and I put a thing in the in the back to hold it up and then if you look I'm gonna try and do this it's gonna be dark I just have some uh, insulation foam board see there you go one big 4x8 sheet that you can buy at Lowe's I actually bought a broken piece uh, where it's cracked on a corner that somebody couldn't sell works real well and this it's just pinched in between there with a separator board really this all cost me probably maybe 20 bucks, maybe 40 bucks, somewhere in between that range. Now I'm gonna show you some green screen backgrounds that are, I'm gonna go from the most expensive to the least expensive. This is on Amazon, so I'm gonna show you these real quick. This one right here is the Elgato green screen. The one, this what I really like about this is that it actually sits right on the ground and it pulls up like the old projector screens. I don't know if you, uh, how old you are or how, how you would remember that, but it's got like a little crisscross thing and it just goes right up pretty much to any size. That's really cool. But as you can see, it's pretty pricey. It's about $160, $159.95. This one has a green screen. It's got the two box lights. Also has the uh, other light that's over the top for the three-point lighting, um, and it's $139.99. And then on Amazon, they actually have one. This is the cheapest and it's on sale right now, it looks like, for uh, $119. And this has two box lights. It tells you everything it comes with. The two box lights, the umbrella light. Uh, got two umbrella lights. It's got the screens with the green, white, and black. So if you want to do different things, it's got the little carrying case with it, clips all kinds of stuff so it, it goes into that and that's 119 95 and i'm not selling any of these products i don't work for these people but i'm just telling you this is what i saw right now as of 22218 all right next let's talk about lighting because a lot of people talk about three-point lighting the best lighting that you can have for someone and i know a lot of studios do this as well your first light is like your key light coming in and then your fill light is another light it's distance off from the object and you can kind of see how that shows in this diagram and then the backlight to have to, so you have perspective gives you some perspective and then you can have background lighting to light the actual backdrop so there's all kinds of different lights I'm going to show you my lighting where I have it actually above not necessarily the best but it seems to do fairly well with the the green screen that I have so I just want to show you my setup Okay, next I kind of want to show you, you can see I have two ceiling lights above me that you kind of use as, a, as my backlight for my green, uh, green screen. But I also have two lights that are surrounded by my computer and I just have wax paper. Again, I'm going the cheapest route. I just have wax paper right here with a light, which is an LED light. These have been on for a while, but you can touch them. That's what I love about using those because they don't get real hot. And you can buy these. You don't necessarily need these. You could just get any kind of light or lamp or something if you wanted to. And then I have my four monitors, but you can see I have a light on that side and I have a light on this side. I have it on both sides. So that's my lighting for in here. And what this does is I kind of get, there's no real backlight, but my backlight kind of comes from up top. It kind of goes down and keeps the shadow from happening on my body and things like that. That's my lighting. Thanks for watching. I hope you felt like this was helpful to you. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel for other MD Quick Tips. That's what I call them, MD Quick Tips. So anytime you're on my channel, you can just type in MD Quick Tips, and here it is on screen. Um, and then that way uh, you can get some of these tips. But again, please subscribe right here. You'll see where the little circle is. Subscribe there and check out a couple more videos that I have uh, that you can watch in the future. Thank you.